Hey guys, welcome back to another Parts Factory Australia tutorial video. Today, we're working on this Hyundai Elantra or Hyundai Ascent. Depends on which car you've got. It's both the same tutorial anyway. Specifically, we're gonna be cha changing the master control switch. It's gonna take about 10 minutes. Door card's gonna come off. Super easy procedure. Definitely do it yourself at home. And guys, if you need this uh, switch, make sure to check out our website. I'll put the link in the bio. Just click the title of this video. You can pull down the little section where you'll have our links. Uh, you'll see Hyundai Elantra Master Control Switch. You'll see Hyundai Ascent. I believe both of them are 83 bucks 30 with free express posts anywhere in Australia. So if it's something you need, definitely uh, head over and check that out. All right, guys, one last thing. We've uh, been given the privilege by Southport Wreckers on the Gold Coast to utilize their some 1,000 used cars here. Basically guys, they have used engines. So if you need a used engine or you're in the market in the future, click on this uh, title of the video, pop down, southportrecords.com, I think the URL is, cruise on there and check out what they've got. Alrighty guys, let's jump into this one. Alrighty guys, so, take my hat off. First things first, we're gonna pull this whole door card off. Now to do that, first things first here is you take this little plastic trim off and it won't pull off, just jam a little flathead screwdriver in. A little pressure clip, so you kind of just got to clip it off like that. See, they're one-way pressure clips. Put this little piece to the side. Now, in this door handle here, you'll notice there's a little flat. You can put a little flathead screwdriver in again and just literally pop that down. See how it pops down like that? Now you can undo this Phillips head screw. See how that little... Um, cover wants to come away now. You can pop that cover off, leave the screw in, and stick that out of your way. Now, you have the same thing down in here. You can use a little flat edge screwdriver and pop that flap up, and you pull this Phillips head screw out. One, uh, that's the little flap. Where's the screw? The screw is here. We will put the screw to the side. Now at that point, you run your hand around the edge, you see if you can spot any other Phillips head screws. It's feeling like there's none, but I'll do a last inspection. Yep, there's none. At this point, you can pick an edge and you just pop the little one-way clips around the edge. One, two, three. And this will pop up into the air. And then you go there. Now, behind the door, you'll find a few little plugs. One, two, three. And then your door card will actually come off just like that. Alrighty guys, so we've now got the whole door card off um, and I trust you now see that the rest is pretty self-explanatory but I will show you the steps. You've got one Phillips head screw here. Uh, you've got a Phillips head screw here. Um, what else you got? It's looking like... That'd probably be it, and the rest will just slide out. You got a few pressure clips in here. One, two, three, but anyway, I'll jump straight into it and we'll see how we go as we go. All right, guys, so to, to get this switch out, it is pressure clips. However, you can't access this side without pulling the whole bevel out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by undoing some of these Phillips head screws. One, you got this one here. Two, three, Four, you got one here which holds it all in. It's a little uh, metal clip, so you can just knock the metal clip out of the way. Oh, what else we got? That's about it at that point. And then the rest is just held in by little pressure clips. Um, what I'm gonna do is put these little screws somewhere nice and safe. You can come back to them and reuse them. I'll just here. I'm hoping at this point, we can literally just grab, yeah, see how the switch just pops out like that? And voila, that's the job done. Right, <clears throat> so, if you wanna change this switch, the next part is literally just use a little uh, fl uh, flat edge screwdriver like this one. You can jam them in these little holes. See these little holes here? One, two, you gotta keep a constant force, otherwise it'll try and pop back in. Two, see how it's kind of, elevated here and you can come along to this side of course do the same thing three keeping that constant pressure 
even put your finger there like that then come around to this side one pulling it up two see how it's popping up into the air the whole thing's raising out of the air now you see that and of course the last one's over here there's your switch so this part you will not have bought um, in you know getting the replacement so take good care of that you're going to need it this is the switch you're replacing at this point you throw that one away grab your new one and of course smack it into the bevel this one's for a hyundai ascent hyundai ascent's very similar but it's not an exact fit as you can imagine ours would look exactly the same as that one we'd smack it back in there literally like this as you can see it's super easy and at that point of course as everyone already realizes we'll put it back in this store card you can literally just bring it over the top I think it's uh, bottom first actually you got to slide the air that's it slide the bottom in first don't forget there is pressure clips so it won't necessarily just go straight in you kind of got to give it a bit of a push give it a bit of motivation there it goes right there now don't forget all of our little screws and whatnot really important otherwise it'll just fall out in the future one two big one down the bottom over here like so now the really important one is the metal one that holds the top part in to do that it's literally just place the metal component in its position and of course line up the little self-tapping Phillips head And that's it there guys all done guys you've changed your master switch it's now time to put all the plugs back in on the back of the door i'm sure that you can see in there to see how to do that got one two and do not forget your mirror switch otherwise you won't be able to adjust your mirror position three once you've got that in line it up over the top of the uh, window sill and you'll notice the top of the window sill here pushes down really solid and it should be lining up with your handle that way you can just come around the edges and we're popping all those pressure clips back in one at a time we're going to start first with the interior door handle cover you can literally just grab it like that pop it into place you got your phillips head screw of course you need your screwdriver phillips head in flap over the top don't forget guys, you've got one down in your coin pocket and you've also got a little flap to reinstall again. Tightening that up, nice and straightforward. And of course, the little triangle in the corner up here guys, lining it up nice, pushing the bottom in first, finishing off with the top. And that, that's it. That's how you change a master control switch on an Elantra or a Hyundai Ascent. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, the whole job took about 10 minutes really convenient because it's getting cold and windy down here so i'm ready to go back up to the house guys if you have appreciated this video make sure to give it a, a thumbs up and if you can subscribe to the channel as you know we do diy installation tutorial videos that's literally what we're about uh, anytime you're doing your own work on your own vehicles cruise on to our channel and you might find out just exactly how to do it the quickest and best way possible my name is lucas Straps, guys thanks for watching and i'll see you next time